I'm just last minute. You can be desert more of us to contact you guys from there. Because y'all are finding out before they find out. And people are making calls in there before they put in the information. So now we are we're catching from all sides again, not play the victim, but when it comes to communication, I'm, I'm with it. But you know, and I, I tell each one of you, I told them that we're not gonna stop. If they find us, whatever has to take place, I'm not gonna stop doing that. And I'm with you about finding a better so, way of communicating. So your state regulatory agency is telling you not to push out information to the public? You mentioned it before, maybe that's I think we should let the governor know we don't like that <laughs> idea. <laughs> 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 devastating to our region and your region uh, when it comes to your, you know, your tourism and your quality of life in the river. So I guess my question would be, um, where do we go from here? How do we, as a collective unit here, how do we work together in repairing the reputation of our river? And with the Coochie River, the Hall River, the Lapahoochee, all of them, to make it a better place and the people want to visit and canoe on and camp on and, and swim and fish in. So I'm like, my question is how can we, where do we go from here in that aspect? Mm -hmm. We, for the next four quarters, I'll celebrate the fact we have a nice school. And then that starts cycling down the Google charts as well. With people who, um, one of the things we were talking about initially was, you know, you have some joy marketing and utilize it, to, everybody's cool with utilizing our public information officer to do that. <coughs> we never got back to that, and last year that was one of our goals to try to get some central marketing uh, uh, for our region on that issue of tourism. I think that's a great idea, it has shown, you know, we're working together with trying to get the problem solved. So marketing, one of the things I did talk about with EMC was perhaps some contribution to our region to have that marketing for us. That we were very willing to speak to that as well. So just another option that we may have to do exactly what you're talking about. And you know, terrorist events happen. We have, we have talk, started that conversation pretty pretty heavily as far as our next phase on how do we improve the quality of life on the river. It's, it's a market, market advantage. You have to make sure that you have a I still want to develop our group with our parks and rec authority, but again, same what you are. Do it. And see what comes up. So I think it's your major market advantage down there, especially in the price areas. I think you got water, and I think you got lots of land, and I think you got freedoms. Two state parks and one private park. I think you also have a beetle plantation down there. I think you have a lot of market. I think it would be very attractive for like from the city to both. And we have Blue Springs at the yeah. Hamilton County, <coughs> and this one in Madison right. County, that's probably at one time one of the most visited. Deep uh, water, uh, what do you call it? What? Mango, uh, uh, Magnitude Springs and visits from all over the world. You know, there and now you don't see that. I, I have one more quick question. How many um, commissioners do we have in the city? Or, well, no. Are they all city commissioners, city council members? How many are there? There's seven council. Okay, so how many are here tonight? One left. Are you one? And you're one. So we had four. My question is, I realize, for one thing, it's a church night. And some people do have other obligations on Wednesday nights. But considering that now, at this point in the meeting, we have three. 
out of seven left here. My question is, are the commissioners, are you taking it seriously? Are, are you are you concerned and you, you realize because you do deal with your constituents whenever there's a problem. So you can imagine me dealing with the ones in my district as this comes down. And that's why I was just asking you because of the lack of attendance here. Maybe they just had other commitments and could not make it. It's been scheduled for a long time. I can I'm, promise you the three that we're missing at the start of this live for the and yes, and I realize Wednesday night meetings are difficult because of that reason. And really, in that case, you're putting the right thing first. I will say that. But I, I was just wondering. Thank you. And it pains us all. I promise you. I have an ecotourism point. John, you be our last. Okay. It's related to the panel on January 18th. Well, yes, we need to do a lot of marketing, everybody, about things across both sides of the state line. And I'd like to thank the city of Valdosta for its support on the thing we're trying to do, which is the Troopville River Camp, which is a great ecotourism thing across the state line. But in order to counter the widespread perception and Google uh, search problem, we need data on which to base that. We need to know when the rivers are clean. And while everybody's here tonight because of all of the wastewater, that's not the only thing that gets into the river. So the only way to know that the rivers are clean is frequent, regular, closely spaced testing. Yet the city of Valdosta wanted to make a real good gesture that from uh, compared to one sewer line would not cost much. The city of Valdosta could start doing some testing on the stream at additional places and do it on a weekly basis. That's my suggestion. John, what time do you want to start on the 18th? Uh, meet at 9, travel at 10. Turn the whole book around. You've got yes. a question, sure. behind you, by the way. All right, last question. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah. Have you all had any visit by the federal DP, Department of the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency? Has there been any contact at the federal level about this particular spell? No, we no, don't have to no, they don't contact us. They've, uh, they've been working through EPD. Have they, have they been working through EPD as far as you know? As far as 